What's up, everybody? This is episode five. All right, new tour, dude. Time flies, man. But oh, yeah, man, putting in that work, bro. If they didn't know already, it's your man AG, joined by my my your other man, my man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yep. Drizzling in the house. <laughs> you can follow us right here, right here somewhere. I don't know, whatever. This is there. I'll see it. Yo, Invasion series. How'd you like it this year? It was my favorite series, dude. Oh man, that makes a it's lot. like uh, makes Stranger lot. Things Invasion. That's <laughs> my favorite series. <laughs> yeah, so let's far. go. I don't know. I gotta get into that, bro. That's I gotta check out Stranger Things. It what Invasion? You do gotta get into. You gotta get into. You missed out, man. We had. Uh... Dude, I suck. I can't even win on. I can't even place in a weekly than O2. <laughs> I'm just so bad, dude. I just don't have the that's time. Fine. Man, don't discourage the players from showing up to Invasion. No, that's definitely what I'm not doing. <laughs> I mean, look, it's been a crazy year, man. We had so many hits and. One of my favorite aspects of Invasion, I think we saw it like throughout the year, is like Connecticut is the perfect spot for New England to come down and like Tri State to come up. You know, Definitely, dude. A couple grand finals where it's like Mars to Buzz, dude. What a what a treat to commentate. Like what is dude, essentially like, a high level, you know, top yeah, eight. Dude, I just a major match. It just, and, yeah, I just wish the more like like uh, Invasion Twenty, man. We had a lot of killers come out from yep. uh, where well, we had Raptor, we had. Uh, can't never pronounce this guy's name. The Meta Knight. Um, as, as, oh, Achito. Achito. Thank you for <laughs> yeah, saying yeah. it right. Because I was going to murder that that's name. How, I, that's how Achito? I pronounce it. But I, that's, yeah, it's some, Achito. It's similar. Yeah, the Meta Knight yep. player. Um, then we got, we had Jen. Right. Yep. Dude, his Ryu. Yeah, so good. When he came to the week 100, dude, mm -hmm. and he was like, he was giving it to light. I was just like. He was giving him the yeah, elbows, let's go. Dude. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, right. He's mad scary, bro. Yep. And there's there's another player. Oh, Frozen. Yeah, Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, dude. Always always a big Frozen fan. I'm on record as saying a huge Fro Frozen fan. So yeah, great man. to see them come down. You know, from New England, we got your Kool Aids, Matty G, Mars, Pug. My, man, he's everyone. another monster. Yeah, dude, yeah. The, the growth of Matty G has been ridiculous. He got a uh, uh, top eight at that Florida tournament. Oh, too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. Yep. Yeah, man. Lost a really close one to Captain Zach. Captain Zach, yeah. Top eight, but yeah, what a great run. But it's just like we have that level of player coming just hey, coming down in the monthly, you know, hanging out. Yeah, I mean, the the growth of Invasion, it started off real slow. I mean, like, first one I think Mars came to, yep. it was like 34 people. Right. But, right. like, got to start somewhere, man. Exactly. Like, and then, I mean, then we grew it. It was like, I think the next one was like 45 and 56. Yep. Our highest one was 91. That was when uh, I think uh, Mr. E came down for, like, the very first time. Right. So, I mean, that, that was, like, his first appearance. So, I mean, 91 is, like, an amazing number. Like, I, I know we can I know we can hit in the hundreds, man. That's why, like, like, for next year, man, right? What, like, if you were looking on the outside into UG, what, what would, like, some of the things you would think about, like, hey, we should do, like, this for Invasion? Is it, like, try different, like, new events? Like, we, we started aiming the... The amateur bracket uh, yeah, yeah. clipboards said, "How about you know what we do is amateur bracket." I think we started at the beginning of the summer, right? So like, that was like that was a great, fantastic idea. It makes like the amateur. <laughs> it makes it actually uh, actually like stay around like a lot Definitely, longer yeah, yeah. and just like compete on the same maybe the same level that he is and right. see the growth of you know because I like I like the amateur bracket because when when that person like. Wins the, win the amateur bracket, they can see, like, oh, my power level is, like, or, exactly, like, level of yeah. play is, like, where this person, and then it's, like, right below, like, like, a aerial ace or, like, a right gram, like, right. oh, I'm right there. Exactly. So, the you know, of it. Yeah. But honestly, it's great just to, like, reinvest in the scene. At mm -hmm. least, uh, you know, amateur bracket, there's no, like, huge prize, but it's, uh, you know, socially reinvesting into the scene. You know, yeah, it, definitely. It keeps those players around and invested. Everyone gets to play more games and like serious games, not just friendlies. You know? Yeah, yeah. It gets to help the TOs with like future seating. You know, it's like oh, well, like they, these guys did play in a bracket. Yeah, because I know? think I think when you have like let's say Invasion Twenty One next year, sure. If we get like all the CT like happens, just just come out. Let, let's say we there's like two hundred people on the the power ranking list. Yeah. What was if like just a hundred people showed up? Right. Just from CT, not counting you know any uh, invaders or well, if everyone you know, showed up. Yeah. There'd be. Then, the learning experience. Yeah, then, then you get where, where your point was um, talking about as a TO where you get to see the people. Like, now it's like, I know who to place 28th or right. the 25th out yes. of uh, the 100 people. Yep. And then it comes like, you know, take you know take it from there. So now, now you have that, the information. 
and that makes your job like a little bit easier. I like, like I know like um I backed off from like the seating and stuff for like I did this almost kinda like the last invasion. I just like Ajax, uh you, um and like clipboards. I'm like, you guys you guys know what you're doing. Right, you guys exactly. handle it. It's like that's just like giving me more like responsibility for you guys. I'm like not saying like it's not wasting my time, but like no, no. it's just like I just it, when you guys are like, yo, we'll take care of this, it just like lightens like my load a little exactly. bit. So I can like try to focus and, on doing other things. Yeah, you know, like we talked in the last episode, we're mm -hmm. we are all the people who are always talking about that. You know, we are constantly updating each other ourselves on who is doing what. You know, dude, so I'm so glad great. you guys are on the team, man. Oh, for sure, dude. Dude. You guys help so fucking much. You guys don't even understand, man. When I don't have to worry about stuff, I can just focus on other things. Exactly. Like, Solid pickups on your part. You got yeah, good taste. But <laughs> dude, when I picked up when I picked up clipboards, man, like that was like match made in heaven. Yeah. Nah, nah, dude, boards, he's yeah. dude. That dude's a monster, he's bro. Great, yeah. And uh, you know, like we were talking about additions to the invasion series, that was a good one for yeah. sure. You know, it definitely helps to have someone just focused on. Their Making one sure task, the tournament yeah. like just runs and doing yeah. the amateur bracket. I want to, you know, like, I gotta, I want to talk to the Skyhook more. Bro. I know, do he, do right? Um, I think it was either not this past week, the one before that. I think it was like maybe one hundred one or week one hundred two. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Skyhook comes in, and then he starts, you know, he starts running bracket because you know clipboard's not here. I for, I forgot something that something oh, that happened. Smash GG went down. I remember that. Oh, yeah, or There's something like that. Yo, oh, oh, that was I was, I want to say like the the birth of like him like helping out to you know but yeah, like yeah. it was just like that point smash you went down we were just going back and forth because he saw how like swamped i was trying to run the stream run this run that yeah, yeah. and then like the next week after that is when he came in and he actually like tealed the whole event it, yeah. it was only i think it was like our smallest one it was like 18 people for the week yeah, because so the halloween week yeah, yeah yeah so um he came in like tealed the whole thing and i, I actually sat back and like was playing friendlies like during my usually yeah. I never play friendly right, until right. like after events done or before, oh, but great. like I actually got to enjoy myself. I was like, wow, other other people are actually helping on, dude. Like when it takes when you take something off my plate and I don't have to like worry about it and have other people that they enjoy doing it, man. Oh, yeah. this is it's all worth it, man. That's the whole thing, man. You know, from invasion one to twenty to yeah, the dude. championship, it's all about the community. Yeah, definitely. Not, not. even being cliche, man. It really is. You know, everyone just coming together, helping out. Making it happen. Yeah, like, I understand people can't make it to the weekly all the time because either, one, they live, like, far away. Right, like, right. let's say, like, oh, I live in Fearful. I don't feel like you're driving an hour and 15 minutes or whatever yeah. to, like, a weekly. Like, I get it. That's me. But, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like, do you, do you, it's, it's like a, what, 50-minute commute from Norwalk area? So, to, like, today it was 45 because there's no traffic. Yeah. When I got to come to the weekly, I literally just sit in rush hour for, like, an hour 45. So, it's, like. Dude, really? I leave my house at like four thirty, maybe like four thirty. Like, oh late. my god, dude! And we make it here just in time for doubles. So yeah, it's. I didn't know the traffic was that bad. It's pretty bad. Don't but it's go... like so bad that it's like good again. You know, I don't have to focus. I just mm. got to move closer, man. I'm yeah. Saying. <laughs> yeah. When's, so like, when's UG house, man? That's not... <laughs> dude. All I can say, is it's coming. All right, all right. That That's was, all I can say about that. More than that. I was it's, asking for, but it's it's coming. Just give us give us some time. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be there. Um, come out to yeah, come out to support the weeklies. Yeah, if you if you live too far away to support the weekly, come to Invasion, man. Yeah, if there's Dude. ever a time, you know, I always see people talk about it because like I talk a lot with the Southern Connecticut group. You know, that's yeah. where I live, and we're always talking about like, man, UG sweet, and like some of the kids are just like. I, I can't drive that long to a weekly. I'm like, that's fine. But, man, do some chores around the house, man. Get some good favor with mom and dad. You got to come yeah. to Invasion, man. Just carpool Dude, just, with someone who can drive. Yeah, man, like, like, I just want to see more of Connecticut come out to support Invasion. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, like, solid central point, honestly. Like, just geographically. Um, yeah, like, I, dude, what, I just, yeah. can we get over 100? Like, Invasion 21? Yes, maybe, maybe. Uh, championship might – I mean, I don't even know how many people are qualified, but, like, everyone's coming to that. That would be exciting. Yeah, dude, we definitely have to talk about uh, Invasion. I mean, that's dude, what like, if for, we right? – yeah. If we get it over 100 people, like, every time – like, that, like that's the goal, man. Right. I want every single person in Connecticut to Invasion. That's it. 
You guys have no other choice. Yep, yep, you heard it, man. Come on out. Okay, another thing that a lot of people are asking, Arcadia, man. Oh, yeah. What? Some, that's your. That's that's you, man. Well, tell us, like, Jason. Um, what's, what's I used going? to I used to run these things, Havocs, right? And right. then, like, I, when the tennis is like, you know, like ten people, I'm like, guys, there's no PR players here. Like, right. how are guys coming out? But I think it's like I think having it biweekly, like having a lot of people talk to, and like a biweekly is just like too much. You should like make an arcade and like once every two, make it a bi monthly or like ever just do it like maybe every quarter, like before like the PR comes out or something like, right, or right. tie the, tie in the PR with the event or something. So yeah. I was like, Oh, I know I'll explore that idea, but like, I definitely say like Arcadians like, is like another thing. Like it's like the amateur bracket, Yep. but you know, you see everybody's hungry for exactly. like to make that PR for the first time to yep. get, you know, known as a, you know, a power rank player. Exactly. So. I mean, we've mentioned it in, plenty of episodes already you know there are some people who are just like i don't want to like i don't want to come out and just like play against the best of the best like round yeah. two i want to get you know i want to get my money's worth that's why the amateur bracket's so great and yeah. they're like i want to win the amateur bracket if i'm in it to show that like i am the very top of the, the group you know of the the b team that's me i'm the captain and i think arcadians are like the maximization of all of those ideas it's like i'm the best player that's not in the PR. Like, I only lose the PR players, blah, blah, blah. You can prove it. Yeah, definitely. And it's so great, you know? Now, do you, for, like, future Arcadia's, do you think only the people who have, like, either, I mean, the people that are eligible, el eligible to play, like, you can't be a PR player or, and or, um, if you've ever been on the PR, shouldn't be able to play? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Is it only the, only the people that are PR ranked for that season can't play? I think... Or do you lean towards the other way? Um, I don't know. I feel like ever having been ranked is like an overcorrection because you have players like... Sage. Sage. Yeah. Me. Or like Zodi. You know, people who like probably would want to come to this Arcadian, but it's like, ooh, sorry, you were ranked like a year and a half ago. We'll be seeing you, you know? But I think that just recent, like if you use just the most recent PR... There's also, like, some outliers, just like, like Sage was for when the Havoc series was popular. It's just like, oh, he just didn't show up for three months. And he could have been on the PR had he shown up, but then, like, just beat everyone up at the Arcadians. So I think there's probably, like, a solid middle ground at, like, six months. Or, like, yeah, two yeah that sounds really good. You know? Yeah, take everybody that maybe was on the last PR and then the, the new the new right. PR, and right. those people can't, should be able to play. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And I think, again, doing them right after a PR comes out is ideal because there's been, like, two or so tournaments, I think. One that really sticks out to me is the uh, the Big Blue New England Arcadian. Oh, the one, is it the one, Light one? Yes. Yeah, exactly. that that was that was awesome. A slight man. mistake in scheduling because Light was not on the New England PR and yeah. had no, like, there's no way anyone knew who he was when that PR came out. Yeah, true. They schedule this Arcadian right before the new PR comes out, like a week before the PR comes out, and Light goes on a tear. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. just like, he's, he's definitely on the PR. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, but I already signed up for this Arcadian. So there's a big hubbub. Eventually, everyone got over it, and he won the Arcadian. But I think the biggest lesson to take away from that is definitely, like, wait for a new PR to come out. And then, like, do an Arcadian right after that. Because then you also have some people who want to, like, prove it. They're like, oh, I, number 10 sucks. I'm better than him. Yeah. Like, All right. Like, come and win this Arcadian then. Maybe uh, you have a docking point. But other than that, you know. Yeah, I just... think I think at UG we're definitely going to probably run one, run one after the PR comes out. The PR December, ends. Yeah. When's it? December 31st for quarter four, yeah. Well, maybe I'll do it, like, January 7th. Could be. Hold on, let me uh -oh. let me just check the date real quick. Live. We're about to have a tournament. You're watching live foot. Well, this is recorded, but live recorded footage of Drizzen planning a tournament. That was how we got to think, man. Yeah, dude. They, they dude, January sixth starts on a Saturday. Might. Because uh -huh. I, I definitely don't want to do it the thirteenth because I don't want to do it the week before Genesis. Right. Right. Yo, the sixth schedule. Guys, mark your calendars. Yeah. We just, <laughs> All right, we, we just, just decided. And, <laughs> like, and, and that's how you that's how you get tournaments. January sixth, Arcadia. UG can't be on. Can't be on. Was a quarter four, four or three? Quarter four or three? Yeah, I just do quarters because seasons are very confusing. Winter yeah, starts. Yeah, I was going to say year, fall and then yeah. autumn, but yeah. I realized it's it's Good one save. fucking thing. Uh, what else we got talking about? Um, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers on that list? 
We can talk about Smash Brothers. Yeah, we can. Um, I think that's about it. Just uh, just have everybody come out and uh, support their own scenes. Like, yeah, man. What off the top of your head? What weeklies do we know about now? We got UG obviously on Tuesdays. Right. Well, we could just go down the week, right? Sunday we got uh, my weekly down in Norwalk. We got Elm City in New Haven. We got the Grid in Manchester. So yeah, just, that's all. That's on Sunday. on Sunday. Yeah, very far apart from me, like an hour apart. Yeah, that's each, that's great, man. All great tournaments, all solid turnouts and good players, but just very far apart. So it's run them concurrent. Oh shit. Um. Monday Mondays. nights, we got nothing, as far as I know. It used to be Game Haven, RIP. Uh, but Tuesday, we got UG. Yes, definitely. Wednesday, definitely. Hall of Gaming. Hall of Gaming, uh, I thought it was Thursday. No, Melee's on Thursday. Exactly. Uh, uh, Thursday for Smash 4, actually kind of quiet, so you know, nothing there. Friday, we got you know, UG. Yeah, we used to have the lab. I think oh, I might true, bring yeah. that back. That was a good idea, you know, just like a practice. Night. Yeah, it was like, you know what You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to probably redo Thursdays for the lab, maybe, maybe start next year. Mm -hmm. And then just, it would be like a $3 venue fee and then like, like free hot dogs or some shit, dude. It's just some like, just, spice, it's just, I just, cause like, um, there's, if you guys don't know this guy, uh, Urkel, oh, Urkel yeah, and Urkel, Ego, yeah. man, the, two of my good friends from, uh, Bristol area. Like they, like that's, I think that's when they first, I think almost first started hearing about UG is like, they heard the lab and like, yo, I just want to come down and get better. Yeah. And that's what like the lab, and that's how like that's how like the birth of the lab came. You know, like the first week we had like, I think it was like ten people. We showed they showed up at like, I think, eight p.m. at night, and then we did like a free bracket at midnight because we just wanted to make a thing like, oh, bracket at midnight, free bracket. I think I forgot what we did for the winner. I don't know. I don't know if I actually did anything. I just can't remember. But anyway, maybe I should start doing something. Yeah. But anyway, it was just like everyone just came out. They just supported supported it. Try to get better. Like Baroness was, uh, he was like one of the first people that came there. Taught a lot of people about like the Meta Knight matchup. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was just like a great thing. Definitely, nice. I think having that environment where you know, like everyone there is there for the same reason. Yeah, coming and to train to learn. Yeah, it's very important. And then uh, Friday weekly at at UG, UG again. Yeah. yeah, guys. If you also the retouch about something is uh, if you want to commentate, man. Oh and yeah. You never did before. Come down to Friday. Just come on, come on Fridays, man. Like, just come down. Tell me like, yo, I'm just here for commentating. I'm like, I'll give you, a, you know, give you a shot, just to fuck around with. And then send me your video, and I'll tell you all the stuff you did wrong. There you go, you hear or right did, there, man. Or did correct, I guess. You know, a little both, pros and cons, not all cons. And then Saturday, I don't think anyone does a Saturday. No, week Saturday week. Saturday week. That's well, Saturdays for the boys, the boys at the monthlies. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, if you're running a week on a Saturday, just rethink that. Please. Yeah, please. Like, move it. Think, move think it. about Monday. Think about. Yeah, Monday, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Both open days. Um, so yeah, man. Also, uh, you know, like we always mention, it's it's a community thing. So, I mean, if you want, you know, let us know what you want. That's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Know? Post in the comments, guys. If if you want to see three versus threes on, like, only Fridays or something, maybe we make that a thing. Sure, or, yeah. There's, there's so many events. Like, I want to I wanna see, like, a heavies items tournament. <laughs> oh my god! You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. like, dude. Yeah, like, honestly, like when we talked about some of the events in the invasion series, I still like remember some of the earlier invasions, or even like some weeklies, and like after the tournament, instead of doing like amateur bracket or like crew battles, we just do like big body side bracket. Yeah, like, that was like, awesome, dude. Like sword fighter who, side. Who, bracket, who were the people? Like, there was there was Charizard. <laughs> yeah, Charizard, DDD, DDD, Ganon, Ganondorf, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. No, there's there's two more. I think there were six. Who are we forgetting? I mean, they're large, so they probably suck. Bowser. Oh, Bowser, of course. Yeah, he's and great. God, there's the one more. Oh, I, maybe, I no, I think there was five. Sounds right. But so, yeah, it's, what a what a racket, dude. I still just remember, like, watching, like, Koga's Bowser versus Ling's DDD or something. I'm yeah, thinking, dude. Like, dude, Ling's DDD is no joke, it's bro. better than it should dude, be. Dude, I like, don't say that much. He he plays it like it's like PM. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, fucking, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, dude, stuff like that. Let us know, man. Yeah, any type of events, guys. Any type. I think anything but four versus four. Four. It's just they're not yeah, ready for that. Not, not ready, ready. Not ready not for ready that. Now. We'll stick with three versus three. Let's make that work first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll move on to four. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace. Peace.